What's going on? It is Black Friday week and I could not be more excited. Everybody knows that Black Friday is the best time of the year to buy software for your business. Whether you're looking to start a brand new business or maybe just invest in an existing business, help it generate even more revenue, this is the right place to be. Now, in this video, I'm gonna be focusing primarily, well, really exclusively on AppSumo's Black Friday deals. But I've got other videos coming this week where I'll be showing you the best deals to start an online course or a membership site, or maybe you're looking for how to do email marketing. I'll help you find the best deals for that. We've got WordPress plugins, e-commerce, so much more is coming. So make sure you get subscribed below and I'll tell you my thoughts on all of the best business deals out there right now. Okay, so let's talk about AppSumo because things have certainly changed. In previous years, I've been able to give you a little mini review of literally every single deal that AppSumo put out for Black Friday. Well, that's not gonna happen this year because there are 2,000 deals available. It says 1,000 plus eligible deals. AppSumo as a whole has 2,000 deals available right now for Black Friday, just completely insane. So rather than trying to cover every single one, which is obviously not realistic, what I'm actually gonna do is highlight some of my favorite deals as well as answer questions that you had about deals that you said you were excited about for Black Friday. I surveyed the Facebook group a few weeks back and you told me what you are most excited about. Now, while I'm doing this, I'm also going to be sprinkling in some tidbits about how to get the best bang for your buck at AppSumo. I know longtime viewers of this channel will have shopped at AppSumo frequently and they might already know everything that I'm going to say, but there's a lot of people out there who have never heard of AppSumo and they wanna know if it's legit. Is this a good place to actually buy software? I get comments all the time like this one. The price is very cheap. Is the offer legit? I'm a bit skeptical about the lifetime deal because in my experience, even though the deal might be legit, companies like to change their policies and then after the second year, the lifetime deal is no longer valid. So I'm gonna be addressing that question throughout this video really with some tips. We're gonna get into it right now with my very first tip, which is as you're scrolling through AppSumo, you're looking at all of the deals here. What I want you to do is look for things that are utilities, but yet not platforms. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's go ahead, go to the top here and I'm gonna show you brilliant directories. Now, nothing against brilliant directories. I've actually never used this product. It is, I picked it really because it's one of the most popular products on AppSumo right now, 544 positive reviews. However, I would advise you to avoid tools like this because what it's gonna let you do is to launch, manage, and monetize your own membership website to dominate your market. Now, in theory, that's a great idea. Pay $90 and then you have a platform that you can generate revenue on forever. That sounds amazing until it doesn't. So. In my opinion, it is really worth it to invest in your own platform, to set up a host and launch a website that runs your own membership site or your own online course. And I will create videos on how to do that a little bit later on this week. So instead of looking at the actual platforms at AppSumo, what I recommend doing is looking for things that are utilities. Now, that doesn't mean it has to be something stupid and little and you don't get any real value out of it. Here's an example, this is Big View. This is a pocket TV studio. What they do here is they allow you to use a professional teleprompter, so you get to use your phone while you make a video on your computer. It does closed captioning, editing, basically you can record videos and this is software that will assist you to do that. If Big View were to completely disappear off the face of the planet, your business would not collapse the same way it would if your platform disappeared off the planet and all of your revenue, which was tied to that platform, goes away. Well, big view, you can simply find another application that does what this one does. There's a lot of video applications out there, so certainly you could replace it. You might have to relearn some software and you know spend a little bit more money, but it wouldn't be the end of the world. This is another example of a utility that you can invest in. This one happens to also be related to video. What I like about Wave Video is the fact that they just have a ton of stock footage available to you. I actually use the stock footage quite a bit where I'll go on Wave, just download the stock footage and put it into my nonlinear editor. It happens to be Final Cut, you might use you know, Premiere or something like that. This is my Wave account. Right now I'm in the live streaming templates section. I'm pointing this out because I don't know that a lot of people realize it exists. So if you're doing maybe like a video show where everybody's calling in from Zoom, you could have one of these nice little grids up here where you have your guests show up 
and you can clearly see everybody at the same time. It still looks nice and slick and professional. So Wave has a ton of cool little utilities like that to help you generate graphics and stock footage for your productions so they look better and more professional. Another great example of something that wouldn't break your business if it went away is deposit photos. So they are back on AppSumo. This is kind of an AppSumo tradition to bring deposit photos every year for Black Friday. Now, I don't know, I don't have any inside information, but my guess would be that this could be the last time we see deposit photos on AppSumo. So it's a good chance to stock up, get some more credits. The way this deal usually works is that you pay 39 bucks and then you're gonna get 200 uh, photos or actually 100 photos for the 39 bucks. You can go and download them at any point. They never expire, which is actually a really cheap price for the quality of image that you're gonna get off of deposit photo. Now, why I'm speculating that Deposit Photo might be going away is that they were recently acquired by Vistaprint. Vistaprint also bought Crello, which is owned by Deposit Photo. So those tools probably aren't coming back for lifetime deals, I would guess, because Vistaprint probably wants to offer them to their huge customer base that already prints with them. Again, I don't really know anything. I'm just speculating that this deal might have been done before the acquisition happened. So that's why we're seeing it. All right, time for my second tip, which is to use the return policy. With AppSumo, you get 60 days from the time of purchase. So as soon as you make that purchase, go ahead and put a reminder in your calendar so that you know maybe a week before the purchase is going to become officially yours, you have a final decision to make. Do you want to hang on to this? Has it been worth it to spend the money? If not, it's very easy to do returns with AppSumo. So here is the checkout. I just want to explain their refund policy so that it's very clear to you. It says, try any product risk-free. We offer an industry-leading 60-day money-back guarantee, no matter the reason. Take any of our products for a spin to see if they're a good fit for you. They literally want you to buy stuff so that you can try it and see if you like it. Obviously, they know that a large portion of people will make purchases, think, oh, I'll try it and then I'll refund it, and then they forget and they never do but you're not gonna be like that, right? You're gonna try it out right after you buy it, and if you don't like it, you're gonna hit that refund button right in your account. Refunding on AppSumo is super easy. You simply log into your account, go to your purchases, and there will be a refund button. You don't have to call anyone, talk to anybody. They're not actually gonna ask any questions. You just click a button, and then the money goes back either to your credit card, or if you prefer, they can refund you in credits so you can easily make a purchase again, not having to wait for, obviously, there's a transaction time where stuff goes back to the card, and then you charge it again. So that's a way to just kind of make it easy for you to buy something again with AppSumo. Now, here's an example of a product that I think is perfect to buy and then try out. And if you don't like it, return it. This is live webinar. You can see it was the best deal of 2019. That was quite a while ago in terms of SaaS company uh, timelines. So what is the deal with live webinar? Well, it's basically going to be a replacement for something like Zoom, where you might be doing company meetings, but then you also occasionally need to do a webinar where you're you know, talking to customers, things like that. So with something like live webinar, it's so cheap that if you, I mean, it's expensive too, because we're talking about a hundred bucks and you might buy multiple codes. So, you know, you could buy say three codes or even more. They, they sell you up to, I think 10 here. So you can spend a thousand bucks, but you know what? It's pretty easy to spend a thousand dollars on a webinar application over the course of a year. That's almost a given. Uh, in fact, a lot of them are going to be $1,000 a month. So if this has everything you need, perfect. It's going to be brilliant. It's going to save you a ton of money and you don't have to worry about that for a while. But if it's not, you got 60 days, try it out and then just refund it. That brings me to my next tip, which is to do some research before you make a big purchase. An example is live webinar. If you're going to buy 10 codes of live webinar, hop on LinkedIn, look up the company, who works for them? What country are they located in? Do they have a general good reputation? Who are the founders? Is there one founder or two founders? What have they done inside of software? Have they created multiple products and shut them down and then started another one and then shut it down or maybe sold their products and continue to create new ones? What are they doing with software tools? Are they in it because they really believe in this product and they wanna see it grow? Or are they simply trying to get enough users to sell it off and get a quick payday? Sometimes it's hard to tell those things. So really at the end of the day, it's a lot like buying cryptocurrency. Only buy what you're okay with losing, especially if you look outside of about a year. Now AppSumo, I don't think this is a like legitimate policy that they have, but in general, they're very good of taking care of their customers within one year. So if you bought a piece of software and it disappears three months later, like they shut it down, 
Well, then AppSumo will generally issue you credits so that you can buy something else on AppSumo for the same dollar amount. I think this is actually incredibly generous. Now, obviously you're taking a risk by investing in software that's not that established, but think about it this way. What if you bought a washing machine on Amazon and it broke after nine months and the manufacturer went out of business? Called up Amazon and they would say, well, that's too bad. Want to buy another one? They wouldn't do anything. So the fact that AppSumo is able to and does actually issue credits very regularly when products go out of business within that first year, I think is really cool. And they get a lot more crap really for it than they should because they're generally really responsible when it comes to taking care of their customers. Okay, let's talk about your favorite deals because at the beginning of November, I posted a poll on the Facebook group for this channel and three deals came about as like the most exciting ones that people really wanted to know about. The first one is called Robo Motion. The second one is called PageMaker. And the last one is Hide My WP Ghost. Let's talk about all those deals right now. So here is Robo Motion. This is 79 bucks. And you can see if I scroll all the way down to the plans and pricing here, there's some stacking options here. So this could get to be quite expensive of almost 500 bucks, $449 if you went all in on it. Now, what the heck is this tool? Well, let me jump over to my account here. You can see that the UI is what I like to describe as this UI was designed by the developer, right? It's not a very user friendly experience. So what this tool is supposed to do is allow you to automate boring tasks. I've opened up the templates here so you can see some of the ideas that they have. You can do things like perform uh, arithmetic inside of Excel. You can click to a specific point. So maybe, you know, I had a time where I needed to do something on QuickBooks and I actually downloaded an application which would click on my mouse and then move over and do another click back and forth for like 12 years. It just went on and on so I could automate a task. Looks like this will do similar things like this where you can click an image on a screen, uh, do a date difference calculator. So you have two dates and I'll tell you how long is between it. Just really kind of boring automated tasks. Now the thing is you kind of need to be a nerd to take advantage of this. So if I open up like this countdown uh, thing here, I can go ahead and try this template out. You can see that it has this kind of like uh, workflow type of thing where you have to connect the nodes together. And then you can go and say, okay, well, like I want to work with my mouse and I'll do it on a mouse click and drag it in here. And you're going to start connecting things up. So when I click on this, do this, so on and so forth, uh, a bunch more stuff comes up. So you have to be a bit on the geeky side to really take advantage of this. But if you're watching this channel, chances are you might be on the geeky side and this could be exactly what you want. But if you're kind of, you know, more tech phobic, this probably is going to be something you're never going to want to look at. I should point out before we move on from mobile motion that this actually has a desktop application as well. That's a little unusual where we have a, you know, a, a platform in the cloud and then you run something on your actual hardware. It works on Windows, Mac and Linux. So everybody's included here. That way you can track your, your motions inside of your actual desktop. It doesn't have to be confined to the browser window. Okay, next up we have PageMaker, which is a landing page builder. It's mobile first, so it's really focused on nice looking mobile designs, but it'll also work for desktop designs as well. Now the idea is that it's gonna compete with something like lead pages or Instapage. You can see those are the comparisons that they have in the AppSumo description. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I try to avoid platforms when I'm shopping for lifetime deals on places like AppSumo because it, they are a little bit more risky. However, this isn't really a platform, is it? It's for a landing page where you might run ads to this to get you know leads for your local business or just to get some interest drummed up to see if you wanna actually go ahead and create that online course or maybe a group online coaching, something like that. Now that's not to say that I am giving this my full support and think it's just a fantastic application. Here I am inside of my account. I've got a little yoga page here. We went through and uh, just grabbed one of their templates. Looks really nice. Loads reasonably fast. Uh, it, right now I haven't got a domain connected, but uh, it's working very well. The landing page builder itself was fairly easy to use. I can open up the editor here. It's really easy to do things like inline editing. I can change the text with some inline editing. Yoga is awesome. You can see we have a little form here. Uh, I can go ahead and you know use CSS to style things. We got different colors here, little templates. We can choose from different colors that are available to us. Uh, overall, I think this is a fairly fine experience if you're not used to using any other sort of landing page builder. I will obviously be difficult. I mean, you have to learn how to use a brand new interface. I think most people that are already comfortable with landing page builders are gonna have a tool like Elementor and they can easily go ahead and just launch a WordPress site to build a landing page. I know that's a little bit more work, but that's what I would personally prefer. 
However, I see this one as kind of a decent option. It's not terrible. It's not my favorite. Um, there's some things that kind of stood out to me is you can't use it on Safari. It says, you know, it's not compatible with Safari, which I find interesting considering that's the biggest mobile browser and this is a mobile first experience. Uh, but you know, you can't edit on mobile basically is what I'm saying here. Or if you're on Mac and you're trying to use Safari as a browser, that's not going to work either. Also these forms, they don't really do anything. You can't connect them up to like your email marketing or something like that. You've, let's say you're using ConvertKit along with this. You want to grab the form from ConvertKit and just stick it on here. Although ConvertKit has landing pages too. So you probably aren't using ConvertKit with this. All in all, I think PageMaker is fine. It's, it's okay. Uh, you know, just be ready for it to disappear or for the speed to go down or things like that. Be ready to move out. Don't get rid of any, any uh, designs that you build for PageMaker. Go ahead and, you know, save them so that you can easily move to another platform if you need to. Now, top tier here, we're not looking at a small investment, 600 bucks. That's quite a bit of WordPress hosting. And the last deal you wanted to know about was Hide My WP Ghost by Squirrely the longest name for a WordPress plugin that I can think of, but this is basically a WordPress plugin that's going to make it a little bit harder for a hacker to gain access to your site. Now, what does it do? It does a ton of stuff. Uh, some of it a little bit trivial, things that you can get for free, uh, but having it all inside of one plugin, I think is really where the power is. So here is everything that it does. Read it while I scroll quickly. Just kidding. Uh, let's break down some of the you know more powerful features. Hide the WP admin. So. People can't go to WP admin and log in. That's a pretty simple thing to do. Lots of plugins do that, but this one does too. It also hides the WP login page. So hide my WP ghost hiding, I guess is how it got its name. So once they're hidden, of course, you can give them their own custom paths. And here's where things start to get a little cooler. In my opinion, we can block brute force attacks. We can manage IPs so we can blacklist them or whitelist them, meaning that we can say a certain IP or a certain IP range can never visit our website or can always visit our website if you know it's maybe an internal IP. It also allows you to add CAPTCHA to your login page. And you can even do things like math recaptcha where you're asking someone to do math before they log into your site. Now, if you have an online course business, I don't necessarily recommend this. It'll get annoying. Uh, there is, you know, invisible recaptcha that I would highly recommend turning on unless security is a huge problem for you. But start there and then just kind of gradually uh, build up from there. That's going to be the version three, which is invisible. It also does things like limit login attempts and then allow you to show a custom lockout message. Uh, you can have a custom author path, hide the author ID, just a ton of kind of nerdy WordPress things that can get done here for you. So would I recommend this? Well, maybe if you don't have any sort of security solution that comes with your host for WordPress, maybe you're rolling your own VPS on DigitalOcean or Vulture or something like that, and you just want some extra security. I think this is going to be a really great option to just kind of beef up things internally on the site. I'd still probably go with, you know, an offsite web access firewall just to make sure that everything stays uh, nice and protected. It's good to have uh, the ability to change your security settings outside of your website so that, you know, if things go down, you can still get to the security settings and, you know, allow it to come back up. But overall, I think for 59 bucks for 10 websites, this is something worth checking out. If you want to go up to uh, two or three codes, you can get unlimited or unlimited white labeled. So that is my look at AppSumo's Black Friday extravaganza. If you have any questions, I love to help people out. So either leave me a comment down below or head over to the Facebook group. I will do my best to answer any questions about deals not covered in this video. But there's 2000 of them. I haven't tried them all. So if you have a specific question, I will look into it for you and give you an answer if at all humanly possible. Other than that, I've got a lot more videos coming out this week. So like I said at the beginning of the video, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell, and let's have a great Black Friday week together. Thanks for watching and stay profitable.